Greetings, this is Reverend George Latimer Knight. We are celebrating 10 years in the internet ministry. And I want to talk to you today about the prison ministry, which is an outgrowth of the internet ministry. And we have had the pleasure of corresponding with five individuals, four of whom have been released over the years to the glory of God. And we have one who is still in prison and we're going to keep in contact with her and pray for her release and help her in her march and her quest to be released on an unfair charge or at least in my opinion a charge that was fair but she is an overly sentenced she'll be in prison longer than someone who has committed murder that is not an exaggeration so we're going to keep her in our prayers I've learned through the, through the prison ministry the importance of keeping up with those who are in prison because as President Clinton once said in a speech 90% of those in prison will be released and where they're going, they're coming back in our communities. So if we ignore this growing population, then all we're going to do is recycle them. But in the midst of recycling them, some of them will commit another violent crime, commit another sexual crime, commit another heinous crime, commit armed robbery and so forth. We have to reach out to these individuals, even the ones who went in on a simpler charge, a non-violent charge, if we don't help them and they come back in society with their felony and they can't get a job and everyone shuns them and turns it back on them, they will end up committing other crimes, more violent crimes, just to get by, just to make it. It is our duty. It is our quest. It is our mission. We must continue to fight. We must continue to help those who are imprisoned materially and spiritually that we might help them to overcome their difficulties and bring them to a better understanding in the light of God. Thank you once again for supporting the internet ministry for the last 10 years and thank you because of your support these other ministries have been brought forth to the glory of God through Father Hurley. Amen.